I think selecting a topic has to be, for me, something I'm interested in or obviously feel like I have some expertise. And I think some people think if they're not doing heavy-duty bench research, they don't have anything to publish, and I think that couldn't be further from the truth. Often, um, for example, I've, I've worked with nurses in helping facilitate evidence-based practice in the hospital setting. So one article is how to implement evidence-based practice in the acute care setting, right? I mean, it wasn't necessarily a research that we did specifically, but the idea was I was publishing kind of a how-to, but it just has to be something that you have expertise or knowledge in that you feel like you can help other people. It's going to somewhat depend on the author to start with. So if this is a clinician, um, chances are the topics that are going to be excuse me, most relevant to write about are ones that are going to derive from his or her clinical practice. I've had a lot of colleagues who are interested in topics and they didn't necessarily do a research per se, but they did an analysis of the literature to talk about what's, what's the state of the science that we know in this particular topic. So that's certainly um, a potential article talk, topic as well. I think most of my non-research publications have come out of some of my own clinical practice area in relation to projects that I've undertaken in the clinical setting and also thinking about, well, what would be useful to other nurses, whether it be bedside providers, nurses who are seeking to become authors or even being able to provide professional presentations or just learn more about a process that I've implemented in my practice setting that could be of interest in, to others. For me, the most helpful thing that I do is I, I think to write an article, um, you first have to have a really good understanding of what the current state of the science is on that particular topic. So the first thing I do before I start writing is what's already out there in the literature. Has someone else published this? Has someone else done this? And if so, am I adding anything new or can I add a new take on it? Um, so I start with a thorough lit review and then I develop a, a table that I list all the articles on so that when I go back and refer to them I don't have to search through all these articles. And then from there, you know, I usually get ideas, I'll read articles and I think, well that's interesting, but I'm, my take is a little bit different on it and that's kind of the genesis for the, the new manuscript. <laughs>